Dynamo wrench. Wrench thickness is 10 millimeters. Force applied, 10,000 newtons per meter. Calculate the displacement. To simulate the problem, you should specify the problem parameters, define the geometric model, provide material data and boundary conditions, solve the problem and analyze results. To create a new problem, press New button and choose Quick Field Problem. Specify the problem name and destination folder. The problem type is Stress Analysis. The model class is Plane Parallel. The wrench is thin relative to its plane dimensions. The plane stress formulation is selected. Specify the geometry and data file names. Proper length units should be selected. Cartesian coordinates are more suitable to build the model. The problem description is finished. We have specified problem type, length units, and model class. Now we can define a geometric model. Press Edit Geometry button to open the model file. It is more convenient to set the value of grid spacing to 1 cm. Do it under the Edit menu and select Grid Settings. Type in the grid cell size here. Switch to Insert Mode to build the model. Define the model geometry using direct lines and arc primitives of the model editor. Zoom out from the model to draw the wrench holder. After the model geometry is defined, the mesh should be built. Providing materials data and boundary conditions. Labels assigned to the geometric objects describe material properties, sources, and boundary conditions. To assign a label, right-click the object and choose Properties. Type in the label name here. Labels are listed in the problem tree for every object group. Double-clicking the label in the tree invokes the corresponding properties dialog. Type in Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio values for the steel. The inner surface of the wrench head is fixed from any displacement. The external force is applied to the end of the wrench holder. Having finished with the labels properties description, we can solve the problem and analyze the solution. Press Solve Problem button to solve the problem. Now we have the displacement.